And it's rolling from switchbacks. It's rolling from switchbacks. Oh. What's up, humans? It's Roland from Switchbacks and Bottle Caps. Here this morning, got myself a little uh, stone coffee milk stout. Anyways, I just wanted to do a little quick review today of my EDC layout. It's not so much a review that's in-depth of all my EDC stuff. Um, I might be reviewing some of it. I believe I did review the Through Night Light, but eventually I'll review all of it. I've been carrying all this stuff for a while. Unlike most people, my EDC rotation pretty much stays the same. I like what I have. Um, I know it. I use it. And I just stick with them. It. It's it works comfortably for me, and also because I made it a little customized way to organize it. Um, one of the reasons why I like this what I made is because, like I said, I wake up early in the morning to go to work, and I'm the kind of person that stays in bed until I have to get up. So sometimes if I'm flying out the door, this way I can look at everything and get it all at once, and I know if anything's missing or not. So let's get right into this box. It's kind of like an unboxing, but it's not brand new. Here we go. All right, so let's just get right into this little box. This is my EDC box. This EDC box is not for travel, save that first and foremost. I keep this at home, either by my bed stand or by the door, somewhere that's easy for me to access when I'm coming in and out of the house so that I can have a place to put all my EDC stuff. I always know where it's at. And uh, when I leave, I know I have everything with me. And when I go to sleep at night, I know where everything is for the morning. First of all, this is simply just a balsa wood box that I got from uh, Michael's. Nothing too fancy at all. Super cheap. I think I got it for like five or eight dollars max. Um, I just did a little stencil of E.T. E.T. has been one of my favorite movies since when I was a baby. Um, got the little flipping of the bird here. But So the box is pretty simple. Um, the size of it can depend on what you're actually carrying your EDC if you want to go ahead and kind of check out this idea and maybe try it yourself. I'll give you some of the reasons why it works for me especially because um, I have an EDC carry that I pretty it's pretty consistent. I don't switch up knives like some people do. I don't switch up all my stuff. I have what works for me. I like it and also I don't have enough money to buy a whole bunch of different crap. So what I have I keep with and I like it and I use it. And so this kind of just helps, keeps me organized. So first of all, let's get into this box. There's not really a crazy lock on it. It's just one of these little, like I said, cheap little jewelry box kind of settings. So that just like clips there. Like I said, this box is not going with me traveling or outside and to other places. I just keep it, like I said, by the door. Or I keep it by the bed stand so I know what's up. So first and foremost, I guess I'll go really quickly. This isn't a... Um, spec review on all these products. I'll just tell you what I have in here so you can get a sense for how it actually fits. I have the Spider Co. Persistence in here with a little paracord on it. I have the zip tie on here. It's kind of like a modified wave feature. Um, so if you don't have the money or if you don't want to, you know, if you like a wave and you have a Spider Co. It works really well. Put, throw a little zip tie on there. That's all this is right here. Just a little zip tie that kind of acts as the wave feature. Um, so yeah, it's a little sidetrack note, but so that's what I have in here. Like I said, everything is shadow box, so it fits nicely and it's not rolling around. I have the review I did in the gear section of one of our playlists, the TI3, the T3, TI3 um, through night. I have my Fisher Space Pen, the black one with the, uh, I love this thing, it's amazing. Um, I keep it everywhere since I am a writer as well. Um, I just have like stuff that's not shadow boxed, glasses, keep my glasses in here, keep chapstick, um, Visine, my wallet. I used to have a different wallet, so that's why this shadow box area is a little bit bigger. But I like it because I can fit other stuff in here if I want to throw stuff in there. And I also have the Field Notes uh, Expedition Edition. It's super worn out. I have one of my other ones in there, but um, so that's also shadow boxed. Also in this, I have a little cutout right here, so I can stick my finger in there and then get it out really quick, fairly quickly. These two are for. I have plugs hipster status so those are for my plugs so when I go out in the morning when I get up this is everything that I need one of the reasons why I started and I to make this and I wanted something like this is especially for these guys for my plugs is in the mornings I would get out of bed I don't wear them to bed so I'd leave for work and I'd forget them and 
I would just, I just don't like not wearing them. You just have these like little holes of like buttholes in your ear. Um, so I always wanted to get them. So I needed a way that I can know that I had them with me when I left the house. So one of the things that's really nice about shadow boxing everything is that once you have your gear set and you, you know what you want, if you leave the house and I get up in the morning and it's dark and I just flip on the light and I look in here and this is missing because the shadow box tells you it's missing. I'm like, shit, I don't have my light. Or if your knife is missing, shit, I don't have my light. So for guys that like to EDC the same stuff all the time, I think this works really well. Especially too, you get home from work, you throw everything in there. Let's say you lose your light or my, for some reason, sometimes my, when I keep my pen in my upper, the coin pocket of my pants, my pen always falls out. So if I get home, I throw everything in here. I'm like, oh shit, my pen's gone. I can go back to my car and honestly, 90% of the time it's in my car. But as opposed to not having this, if you just throw something on the counter, on the table, or in a bucket, you don't know what you have and what's not unless you're like looking in detail everywhere. So it does take a little bit of effort to make the box, but once you actually make it, it works really well. If your wallet's gone, you know, if you get up in the morning, you never forget your wallet as long as you check your box because everything you have is in there, everything you're gonna wanna need. Shadow, shadow boarding it really makes it um, makes that apparent when you're actually missing something. So, like I said, this can range for like different um, sizes for what your EDC is. And so what else I also did, because it doesn't carry that much, this is kind of organized at the bottom. Let me get a little shot up top here. What I did to the top is, whoop, you can see that good. I just got some little eyelets that screw into this box. Let's see if I can zoom in real quick on them. Yeah, it's pretty good, yeah. Some little eyelets. I screwed them into the balsa wood, they're like tiny. And then I just did some paracord, some reflective paracord back and forth there, like a cool little pattern that also keeps extra stuff. So this can close and you can open it and all your stuff will be there. Like I said, I got my extra field notes, got my GoPro um, thing in there, got a money clip, a watch, my name tags for, for work, got a little multi-tool down here, um, some cards, some stuff like that. So yes, yeah, it's just like super convenient. I love this thing. Uh, let's go into how I actually made the box because I know if any of you want to try um, making this. So let me take all my stuff out really quick. And this is like super simple to do. This whole box, I guarantee you, will cost you under 10 bucks. Easily. I mean, it probably costs you around eight. I forgot how much I got the actual box for. But this stuff, this black stuff that I shadow boxed, is actually. Oh. Some money, hidden money, hidden compartments. I totally forgot I had that. I'm super stoked right now, actually. Um, I have a bump key, uh, some notes and stuff. So this box is actually just like from Michael's. I guess I have a little thing here. Cratology, it's like a little, it's just like foam. Like foam stuff, I guess if you want to get this shot, if you get this, what this actually is here. That's just like foam, yeah, like crafting foam, I guess, or I don't really know. But so I just cut all my stuff out, the shapes out of that, and I lined the bottom with the same thing. So there's actually another secret layer, even though it's not too secret, under there if you wanted to. So what I did was I literally just took out my pen, or any pen, anything you want, and I placed my whatever item was on there, and I just traced it as best I could, trying to get it super close to there. Just traced it, and then I actually took some scissors, and I actually took this knife too, and just cut everything out to get that shape so it fits nice and snug in there. Super easy to modify. If you look closely, it's not the best cutting job. I mean, there's still, it's like kind of fuzzy around places, but it works, you know, I'm not super uh, perfectionist when it comes to kind of this. I just wanted something that's more for its usefulness and practicality. Oops, uh, I like it like this. OCD, OCD. You can also put, throw a different color layer underneath so the shadow box stuff actually pops out a little more. I just like to have be black on black. Boom, so I guess that sums up my EDC kind of station or at home box or station. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment sections or any other uh, concerns, suggestions, stuff like that. Like I said, this box is super easy. You can probably get it, make it for like 10 bucks or less. Um, got all the stuff at Michael's. You can customize it for different things. I guess if you're one of the guys that actually switches out your EDC stuff sometimes, you can have different layers of the foam to to be a little bit more specific to your EDC stuff. For example, if you carry a bigger flashlight uh, during the winter hours or during summer, if you carry a different knife, if you want to shadow, bo shadow box your uh, sunglasses, all that kind of stuff. So, shadow board, sorry. 
If you guys have any questions, like I said, leave them in the comment section and see you guys.